What's up? Welcome back to our Tequas Productions video. God, it's been so long since I've said those words. And to be honest, I kind of forgot this channel existed for a couple of weeks there. Then I thought, okay, I'm gonna make some videos. Then I thought, yeah, no, but I need to prioritize Tequas Tech. And now we're here. And Tequas Gaming still has no content on it. But this video, we're talking about separating art from the artist. Where did this stem from? Why am I making a, con a video on this topic now? Well, it's very simple, really. We've all done things that aren't, that we aren't proud of, okay? We've all done those, uh, some things that we're not proud of. We've all tried to make it as content creators or in our sports fields or whatever it is. And that's all art. Art is simply being creative, doing what you love. Art can simply be being a gold medalist at the Olympics. That's art. Art can be filming a video like we're doing right now. Art can even be writing or singing a song. But oftentimes people associate the person who created it with the person's content. And oftentimes some things come out when you become bigger. And things come out that make you step away from the artist's work. Step away from why you appreciated the artist's work in the first place. And it's sad, but the reality of it is, we've all done things we're not proud of, but it's a true ability to separate the artist's work from the artist itself. That way, you can appreciate the work and the craftsmanship, or whatever it is. You can appreciate all that without having to the artist itself, if you don't want to. So that's a big thing about this. So that is separating art from the artist. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, comment down below, or consider joining the Discord, linked in the video description. My name is Connor.